Hi again everyone, I'm going to do another Blu-ray review, this time on Mario Bava's A Bay of Bloods. Again, this is released by Arrow Video. Um, this is an excellent release again. As per usual, Arrow have gone over the top and really delivered um, on this package. If you haven't seen Bay of Bloods or you're not familiar with Mario Bava, again, I'll post some links below um, to IMDB and things like that. Just explain a bit more about the director and some of his films as well. So, um, Mario Bava really famous for directing a lot of kind of gothic horror films as well as a lot of giallo films as well. Um, he was considered, um, the, the film that he made called The Girl Who Knew Too Much is considered one of the very first giallo films ever made. Um, he also did Black Sabbath, Kill Baby Kill, um, Blood and Black Lace, and of course Bay of Blood. Um, this is a more vi violent one by Mario Bava. He was put, because of um, directors like Dario Argento who were making a lot more violent films um, throughout the 70s and things like that. Mario Bava was put under a lot of pressure to create a violent film so I think in this film he just went I'll go all out and just make violent death scenes every five to ten minutes which he does. There's 13 murders altogether in this film. Um, the plot's quite simple. It's basically about a bay. Um, there's a countess um, who owns a large house next to this bay um, she dies under mysterious circumstances, but you'll find that in the first reel of the film. Um, because she dies, a lot of our friends and family come to the bay to um, inherit it. Um, they all start getting killed off. Um, is it each other that are doing it? Is it one killer that's doing it? Is it two killers? You'll find that all out about halfway through the film, and then the ending is excellent. I don't want to ruin it, but you see the ending. It's a bit of a a bit of a strange ending to be honest but it's really good it's it's quite a psychedelic style giallo film um it's called a proto slasher so some argue that it's the beginning of the slasher film um a lot of the scenes in this including uh, a couple getting speared in the bed that was taken directly and put into friday the 13th part 2 um a lot of different killings you'll see produced in other slasher films and giallo films and things like that but this is an excellent film altogether um, so I'll just open this up show you what we have inside it so again with the arrow releases you've got this artwork you've got flip side artwork which is excellent I'll open it up as well take out the back there's different artwork again see that blood bath see it excellent artwork in my opinion um, it's got some of the best original artwork that you see um, for a film release around about this time as well. Um, there's a booklet in here, which again has got some different artwork on the front. Just uh, This is really good. It's written by Jay Slater. Um, just takes you through the film. Um, at the very beginning, it takes you through the, the history of the Giallo film as well, which is quite interesting too. Um, again, Arrow have not disappointed me yet. So you get the new poster artwork, which I hope I can fit that all in there. You can see it's just the front cover of the Blu-ray as well. And then you've got that other excellent artwork that I showed you on the flip side, which is a fantastic poster. You see that? I don't think it gets much better than that, to be honest. Um, so this is a really excellent film. If, if you're into Giallo film, and if you're into slasher films and wanted to see where they began, definitely check this out. Um, the disc itself, like I said, is on Blu-ray. I'll just run through some of the special features that you have with it as well. Um, so, let me just see. There's a new transfer of the English version, which is the one that I watched. Um, you've got the, the original mono, mono audio, which, uh, to be honest, I watched it in that, and it was it was still quite good. The, I don't think it needed to be upscaled to 5.1 surround sound or anything like that at all. I think films that do that, um, and they were filmed back then in mono, I think they all sound a bit echoey and a bit eerie, so I don't think it's worth doing, to be honest. Um, the special features on this are excellent. There's newly shot special features. There's um, one called Argento Bava Fulci, um, the Giallo Gems of Dardano Sacchetti, um, who's the who wrote the screenplay for Bay of Bloods and various other films like Cat Nine Tales by Dario Argento. Um, I think he wrote Zombie Flesh Eaters as well, I'm not too sure. But he wrote 
a lot of different giallo and Italian horror films running about the same time. It's newly shot, it's in 1080p resolution as well. There's Joe Dante, who obviously directed Gremlins and Piranha and things like that. Um, that Joe Dante on Mario Bava, so he just gives his thoughts and opinions about the director and his films, which is excellent as well. Um, let me just see. There's another feature on here um, called Shooting a Spaghetti Splatter Classic. Um, that's really good as well. That's shot in 1080p resolution as well. There's an audio discussion with Tim Lucas, um, who is the author of Mario Bava, All the Colors of the Dark. I've not listened to that yet, but by the sounds of it, it sounds really good. Um, there's a Bay of Blood trailers, which has got um, one which is titled Carnage and Twitch of the Death, Death Nerve, which it was originally, originally released as in the, the States. And that's got a commentary by Edgar Wright, the director of Shaun of Dead, and that's really funny. Um, he points out what he likes and what he doesn't like about the trailers and things, but um, you can tell he's got a lot of love for the film itself. And it's got Twitch of the Death Nerve radio spots. So, all in all, again, you get an excellent package here by Arrow. Um, again, pick this up new. It's about £14-£15 on Amazon. Well worth getting. You can pick it up in the stores now as well. So, definitely get your hands on this if you're a fan of Mario Bava films or if you like all the previous Arrow releases, you won't be disappointed. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care.